Hello friends, today we will discuss the Bernoulli equation application in design. So Bernoulli equation is energy balance equation for flowing incompressible fluids in pipe. This equation is widely used in engineering design concept for pipe sizing, pump head calculation, head loss gain in pipe, velocity head and pressure head conversion and piping and piping hydraulic calculations. So this is widely used for hydraulic study of piping or pipeline system. So this is about me. I am a presenter Lokesh Kumar Singh, CUMD Petro Horizon, Oil and Gas, Engineering Private Limited. So this is about my education, qualification and experience. So, so what is Bernoulli equation application? So let's take a system for a study. Let's we have a pump and we have a suction vessel which is filled with liquid and this is a suction line this is a discharge line and this is non-uniform cross-section area discharge pipe so we consider this section for application of Bernoulli's equation so actually uh, we, if we consider this section of piping uh, and we take energy balance across this because as I said that the Bernoulli equation is an energy balance equation for incompressible fluids flowing fluids so this pump is delivering a pressure here that means a pressure energy is inserting in this pipe and let's say the cross section area at point 1 is A1 and pressure is P1 and velocity is V1 fluid velocity and the elevation from the ground is Z1 and here the elevation from the ground is Z2 at point 2 and the cross section area is A2 and pressure is P2 and fluid will out uh, velocity is V2 so writing energy balance for section of this pipe so energy energy balance means energy in and energy out we are considering that there is no deposition inside the or no accumulation of fluid inside this pipe and that's why energy in equal to energy out for energy balance so we can write E1 equal to E2 if we represent energy in E1 by E1 and energy out by E2 so E1 minus E2 equal to 0 or constant so E1 minus E2 equal to constant so now we have to check what is E1 actually if we see here at point 1 so the total energy here in this fluid is E1. So what is the total energy of this fluid at this point 1? So 1 is pressure energy which is provided by this pump and the second is kinetic energy which is due to the fluid velocity and third is the potential energy which is because of this elevation Z1. So if the pump discharge pressure is P, then the pressure energy input, input by the pump in the fluid stream for pushing the liquid volume V is P into V. Because since we know that work done by the reversible process given by W equal to P into delta V. So work done is energy. That means work done per unit time is energy actually. Oh, sorry, work done, work done is kind of energy so P into delta V that's why we have taken that pressure energy is represented by P and V P into V so E1 we can write like this so P1 V plus V is here volume of fluid plus half mv square this is the kinetic energy mv1 square plus mg h1 this is the potential energy at point 1 so we assume here that the mass which is going here in and coming out is constant and the volume is also constant so that means if the mass and volume is constant that means in Bernoulli equation the major assumption in Bernoulli equation is the density of fluid is constant so that's why the velocity of fluid is constant only for incompressible fluids and it's the Bernoulli equation is applicable only for incompressible fluids this is the reason because in Bernoulli equation our assumption is that 
density is constant. Similarly, we can write E2 like P2V, at, this is at here at point 2. So, we can write E2 P2V plus half mv2 square plus mgz2. So, now we know that this E1 minus E2 equal to 0 or constant. So, we can put this E1 e, uh, from equation 1 and equation 2 this value. So, we'll, it will come P1 minus P2V plus half mv1 square minus v2 square plus mg z1 minus z2 equal to 0. So, if we divide this complete equation by mass. So, what happened actually? This P1 minus P2 and V upon M and this mass is cancelled out and then here mass is also cancelled out. So, now we know that the density is mass over volume. So, this this volume upon mass we can write 1 upon rho. So, here this equation become like this P1 minus P2 upon rho plus half V1 square minus V2 square plus G Z1 minus Z2 equal to 0. So, this is a Bernoulli equation for two points energy balance. So, if the pipe is horizontal plane means Z1 and Z2 is equal. So, so this equation become like this because this potential energy terms becomes 0. So, this become like this. So, sim, uh, so, we can rearrange like this P1 minus P2 upon rho equal to half V2 minus V1 square. So, we can call this as a delta P upon rho equal to half delta V square. So, this is our pressure head and this is our velocity head. So, by using this equation ideally we can convert pressure head into velocity head or velocity head into pressure head. Like we can see that if there is a pressure drop up across some control valve delta P, so how much velocity change will occur? So, from this we can calculate the uh, velocity difference. But for ideal, uh, this is for ideal fluids delta P upon rho equal to half delta V square, but for real fluids, real process this will not be exactly equal to this because there will be when the velocity pre uh, pressure head will convert into the velocity head there will be a loss loss of energy so that loss is denoted for this real fluid and real process by k factor this is energy loss constant or a factor during conversion of energy this is represented by equivalent length of pipe so, let us say if there is a sudden expansion and sudden contraction, so there will be a loss of energy when this pressure energy convert to will uh, convert into the this pressure head or you can say this pressure head convert into the velocity head because here the cross section is increasing. So, that means here if the velocity is uh, V1. So, this v2 velocity will be higher than v1. Similarly, here in sudden contraction, the velocity here is like uh, uh, v1. So, here the velocity is v2 because there is sudden contraction uh, expansion and sudden contraction. So, here at this o position there will be a losses. So, that losses is represented by Kc and Ke. For contraction it is represented by Kc and for expansion it is represented by Ke. So, we can put here this Kc and K in this equation in place of K. So, delta P upon rho equal to Ke half delta V square. So, and for fitting if there is a losses in fitting when the fluid is flowing through a pipe piping section and there are fittings. So, that fitting lo losses we can represent by Kf. Now, this Ke, Kc and Kf is denoted and calculated in terms of equivalent length of pipe and now you need to understand what is a equivalent length actually. So, equivalent length, the length of the pipeline or pipe in which the pressure drop is same due to fluid flow as in sudden contraction, expansion and fitting losses. 
let's say example if the pressure loss in sudden contraction is 0.1 bar and the pressure of 0.1 bar will 0.1 bar will happen in 15 meter straight pipe then case is 15 meter that means we need to consider that length of pipe as a equivalent length which gives the pressure drop equal to the pressure drop in fitting or contraction or sudden expansion so this is uh, i think you understand what is the equivalent length so this we can find in standard books and codes that what is the uh, equivalent length for uh, uh, pipe fittings sudden contraction expansion different types of valves and dif different type of piping items so expander reducer so we can see uh, we can get this value easily from the standard books so based on those value we can put now we can calculate the kc and then we can directly convert by using the bernoulli equation delta p by rho for uh, elevation change zero uh, delta p by rho equal to k delta v square by two so now this one more equation also we use with the Bernoulli equation which is continuity equation so continuity equation is nothing but it's a mass balance equation for the same section of pipe so if we take mass balance here so mass in mass out so this gives us the continuity equation here so mass in equal to mass out so if we say mass is m1 in and m2 out because we know uh, we are considering that there is no accumulation of mass inside the pipe that's why whatever mass is going in that mass will be coming out that's why we put m1 equal to m2 so we know that mass is a rho v a the density multiply the volumetric flow rate so this we can say rho v1 a1 at point 1 and this rho v2 a2 at point 2 and we know that in Bernoulli equation and the continuity equation which is applicable only for the incompressible fluid the density we consider assume is constant so the density will cancel out and it become v1 a1 equal to v2 a2 so at this uh, if at two different point we want to calculate the velocity of fluids at the different cross section area of the pipe section so we can calculate using the continuity equation so this is all about the uh, uh, Bernoulli equation and the continuity equation uh, continuity equation so you can now use very well for the hydraulic calculations of in piping or pipelines using this Bernoulli equation and continuity equation so thanks for watching the video so this is all about the petrolization of frame for petroleum chemical and mechanical engineering students and this is about uh, our training program we are providing three-day demo training and awareness classes at Dehradun to know exactly what is engineering design we are successfully running two training batches since May 2017 you can contact us petro uh, at by mail on petrohorizonindia at gmail.com or info at the petrohorizon.com and you can call us on this mention number so this is our company address you can come visit us and if you have any query we also do the uh, we also provide the engineering design services and the special studies work for the engineering clients for uh, in oil and gas refined in petrochemical sectors so thanks for watching once again please subscribe to our youtube channel so that you will get intimated for our new latest updated video uploaded on you, our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.